Okay. Okay, quickly tell me. A, anybody wrong? Anybody wrong? A, is anybody wrong? <laughs> okay, okay, I won't scold you about that. Okay, we must understand capital letters, proper nouns. Is that okay? Proper nouns. Is that correct? Alright? Uh, because somebody was telling me in Korean it is called concrete nouns, is it? Or something like that. Somebody was telling me, was it you? Uh, was it you who were telling me? Or was it Robin? Not you. Yeah? You, because I think in Korean language you don't have capital letters. No? You don't have. But English we have, right? So you must know. <coughs> like, uh, don't go. D starts with a capital letter because it's the proper noun. Is that okay? Alright? So we must know that. The three types of words are action words, linking words, helping words. Anything else wrong? Correct? You should know. Come on. <coughs> er, an, and the. Of course, they are articles. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah articles. Uh, can you come on? Can I see the uh, color pudding? Uh, purple color. Is that okay? Articles. Alright. The eight parts of speech below. Alright. All of the above. This is some. Sometimes this is very easy, all of the above. Right? It's C. E for E is the concluding sentence. A paragraph has one key controlling idea. A well written paragraph has a topic sentence, a few supporting sentences, and a concluding sentence. Is that okay? I think that's very straightforward. Come on, you cannot get it wrong. Alright? Okay, now let's understand this. Sentence connectors. You all remember sentence connectors? The answer already given here, connect sentences. Sentence connectors, they're already there. Is that okay? So sometimes you have to guess wisely. Sometimes I understand, you cannot remember everything, but you have to guess wisely. Alright? Okay, this one, in a complex sentence, independent clause, dependent clause, they are joined by a, remember? Subordinating. You remember subordinating and coordinating? Remember? Alright? Okay, Jeju Island, that's definitely an opinion. It's probably one of the most beautiful islands, maybe, but it's an opinion. Okay, three types of conjunctions. Of course, we learn coordinating, subordinating, and correlative conjunctions. So that's A, A, one, two, one, one, two, and three. Is that okay? Okay? Alright. Okay, this one you know. It is the thesis statement. Did you get that right? J, how many of you got that J right? Can you please check? Okay, you got it right. J right, J right. Okay. Don't move? No, you didn't get it right. I write down oh. Topic sentence, you see. Okay, I may have to open the video one more time. One more time, you make a mistake, I'll open the video. Okay. Ayan, help me, help me. Okay. Selena, you didn't get it right also. No. Okay, everybody must see that. Is that okay? No, I'm not saying, please forgive me, alright? I'm not saying this. Knowing the thesis statement and the topic sentence and this will help you in you becoming an airline cabin crew. But if you understand the concept, JJ, you understand the concept, alright? Then when you are talking to people, you can arrange yourself. Can you understand now? That's why we need to know all this. Is that okay? Alright, I'm not expecting you to become an English teacher or lecturer when you go back to Korea, whatever. No, but I want you to understand how we need to talk to you. If we understand that, then the thesis, you know, general statements would come out, you know. There would be an introduction of general statements. Then the thesis statement, the main ideas of what you want to talk, is there in the thesis statement. And then only you build each point into different, different paragraphs. Then you are very arranged. Is that okay now? Question okay? Okay? Alright. Okay, question two. Okay, um, I, you may have some um, questions here if you have, alright? Uh, initially, I, I thought this I want to give just as a simple sentence. But I, I also said it can also, I, I, I told you I will be too strict. If it is also means, in your understanding, it means 
It's not a simple, but it can also be a complex sentence I accept. So I accepted two answers here. Alright? Uh, let, me, let me make it smaller. Can you please check? If you have any questions you may want to ask, uh, you may want to ask me. this one 
question you or not. But can you understand now? Okay. Any other questions? Okay. H. H. Okay. Alright. This can be a bit tough. You see that word here, rich. Rich is the subordinating deduction. Alright. The maple leaf, rich is Canada's national emblem. You see, I actually, maybe I purposely, the maple leaf has been associated with the country since the 1700s. That is the independent cross. Independent. It can stand by itself. But because I put the dependent cross in between, I think you got a bit confused. Um, is there any grammar term? Uh... British Canada's national emblem is the dependent cross. Is that okay? So your question now. Which, which is the subordinating clause then? Uh, I just thought there's another grammar term like that phrase, which is Canada's national emblem. emblem. Actually, that, that is supporting the subject, right? Maple leaf. Maple leaf, okay. That's the subject, okay, alright. True, true. But the which is wrong there. If you are looking at it, alright, from a subject work agreement, then you should say the maple leaf is Canada's national emblem. Full stop. Period. The which distills everything. Is that okay? So that's why I said the maple leaf, I put a comma there. Now you know the importance of the comma. Is that okay? So, if, if you understand this uh, concept, I mean this sentence, it should be The maple leaf has been associated with the country since the 1700s In between the dependent clause, which is Canada's national emblem. That's why it is a complex sentence Is that okay? Is it okay?